Hi, in this video we are going to introduce while loops. So do you remember while loops in Carol? Well JavaScript has while loops too and they're a bit more general here. So what a while loop looks like in JavaScript is this. While and then between parentheses we have some boolean expression and then an open brace and then whatever code we want to execute if that while loop is true and then a closing brace. So it's the exact same format as a while loop in Carol except instead of one of the few Carol conditions we can have any boolean expression. So here what we're going to do is write another program that counts down from 10 to 0 and a point that I want to emphasize here is that we wrote a countdown before using a for loop but there's always multiple ways to solve the same problem so we'll, we'll now write a countdown with a while loop. So I'll say var i is equal to 10. So I'm just declaring a variable there and initializing it. And then I'll say while i is greater than or equal to 0. So this is my condition right here, i greater than or equal to 0. So right now you know, it starts at 10 so that's, that evaluates it true. I'll say I'll print line i and then I'll say i minus minus. So what's happening here is i will be 10, then I'll print it out, and then I'll subtract 1, and then it'll be 9, and it'll keep going all the way down to 0. So if I run that, we see we get a countdown. So what I want to do is I want to also present a warning here with while loops, uh, and that is to beware of infinite loops. So an infinite loop is a loop that just goes forever, and that can happen when the condition in the while loop is always true. So here what I've done, and it's a little bit tricky, is I remove the last line. But what happens here when I, you remove the last line is that i, the value of i never changes. So i is 10, it's always 10, which is always greater than 0. The computer will run that code really fast and, and, it, and the program will crash. So beware of infinite loops.